Hey there, this is Mrs. J, and today we're going to look at how to make the end piece, this green piece right here, for the pegboard toy. Uh, I'm going to scroll down a little bit so you can look at the schematic for a minute. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to make just a very simple rectangle with these dimensions cut out. So we've got this little shape cut out right here, and just a simple extrusion. You only need to make one. And then we can use it twice in the assembly. It won't be good. Right, sketch on the front view. We're going to work on the front view. Okay, let me shrink that and come back. So when you open up Fusion, I found that when I leave school and come home, I don't see my project until it updates. So after I'm in there, I had to hit this refresh. So if anything's ever missing, but you know you did it, try that. So I'm on the side panel here. I'm going to open up my project, the pegboard toy, and make sure I'm in it. Always make sure you're in your project before you start. You can always move your files later, it's just easier. So I've got these files made, round, square, top. I put them together in assembly and I've got a triangle. Today we're gonna make the edges. Okay, so I can shrink this. And we want to make sure as usual, your Y axis is up and you're in inches. If you haven't changed out of inches, it should be there, no problem. Make sure this recording's working. Yeah, okay. Okay, so let's do create sketch on the top left. This time we're gonna use a front plane. All the other parts we made so far were on the top. We're gonna to use the front, it makes it easier to put it together. So choose the front plane, and when you click that plane, you'll see this uh, view cube turns to front. So you know you're in the right place. Let's just grab the yeah, the rectangle tool will be easy. Grab the rectangle tool. You could use that or the line tool, both super easy. I'm just gonna left click and I'm gonna drag. And I'm dragging randomly because I didn't memorize the uh, dimensions. <clears throat> All right, let's get that over here. Let's see if there's a way we can have both. Yep, that works. Okay, so I'm gonna use the dimension tool we're gonna go 0 0.75 on the bottom, enter. The mention tool is up here, it looks like a football field goal. Once I do the bottom, I don't have to do the top. I've got a four over here. Um, and I'm on my home computer, so you see it gave me all these grid lines and numbers, and we don't need any of that. Um, let's see if I can, nope, I don't know how to take that off properly. All right, I'll play with that later. I'll take that off. It's one of these. But oh, we'll leave it there for now. So just ignore all those numbers in there. Okay, and then we've got to do this side. So we want to drop in another rectangle. Let me zoom out. I'm going to pan by pressing down my mouse wheel. I'm just going to drag a rectangle tool. Bring it here anywhere, click the line. You know you're on the line, it gives you an X. And I'm gonna drag down a little bit. I didn't put any dimensions. I'm gonna hit escape on my keyboard. And let's dimension that first, then we'll put it where it belongs. So I'll scroll out, always dimension off your object. So you click the top line while using the dimension tool, drag it up and off the object, and it should be a 0 0.375, enter. And then I want this part right here to be, so click it and drag, 0 0.75. And we were close on both. You're just kind of eyeballing it. So all we have to do, we only have one dimension over here, three. So we'll just put that in just the way we see it there. So dimension tool, I'm still on it. I'm going to click the top right here. Let me zoom in the top here. And I'm going to click while I'm still in dimension, I'm going to scroll down and click the bottom and then drag out <clears throat> and make that three. Escape and I will pan so we can see better. I'm on a small computer, sorry for the view. <clears throat> so that worked fine. 0.375 for this line, 0.75 for this line, three. However, you notice that 
this one's empty. It's cut out because that top is going to slide in there. Mine's solid. So it's shaded. So I do need to get rid of it. The easiest thing to do, I mean, I've seen people put a rectangle on top and extrude it off. No, just grab the scissors and trim this line out. Um, if it gives you an error message, it's because you have a constraint. So you just click on it and delete it. Hit delete on your keyboard. <clears throat> and you have to do it twice. Because if you think about it, <coughs> oh, excuse me. The first rectangle is a big one that had a line right here. The second rectangle was a smaller one. It had a line right here. So that you need to remove both of those. Hit escape on your keyboard. <coughs> Excuse me. Finish your sketch. And then we want to extrude. Let's see how wide this is to extrude it. three inches <coughs> so I'm gonna hit the home key I already finished my sketch you can go backwards or forwards it doesn't matter I'm gonna go backwards and then we're gonna make that three. Oh, look it went forward anyway because I needed a new body Oh, that would be a negative three. Okay, well, let's do the positive three. So type in three, and it comes at you, and then you're fine. So obviously, this is going to be backwards when we go to do our drawing sheet later. We should be looking at, I want to say, this would be a better isometric view of the part, or even this would. Um, but doing it this way, Let's us do the assembly so much easier. So we're just gonna leave it like that. Okay, so you need to save. And don't forget to add your color. So we're gonna call this end one in the pegboard toy and save. So add your color and then come back out to your data panel and make yourself a copy so that you have two. And it's going to ask you where to copy it to. I'm going to copy it to the same place. And it should give you a new name. Oh, same name. Look at that. So I would open up one of them and change one of them. It doesn't matter right now because we haven't done anything to them. If I can just rename it. I can. I could have just renamed it. And so I'm going to call it N2. Okay, and no big deal. Um, you could just keep one end and bring them in twice to the assembly. Uh, but if you do both, you'll be good. All right, thanks for watching.